Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before I begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in description down below this video. Right, welcome back in another episode of our journey along Sandpatch Great. Today's mission is quite special, I'd say. Um, I had already tried this mission uh, unlike uh, previous ones where where I just approached them without any preparations and this is because well during my first recording let's say um, I made a couple of mistakes and this scenario actually doesn't uh, forgive you any any of those mistakes and well let's say I I didn't manage to finish it. <laughs> uh, so I did my research and now I feel prepared to eventually finish this scenario. Uh, so that's what we are going to do today. It's going to be a long video. Uh, that's uh, that's a heads up for you guys. Uh, you probably noticed on, on YouTube that it's way over two hours, probably even nearly three hours long. Uh, that's because this specific scenario is very, very long. We are going to uh, to take a very heavy consist, uh, that's 4,200 tons, if I remember correctly, along uh, the route, along the main line, and we need to transport some goods. Uh, we are going to use four locomotives in order to... Um, to move that consist around and that's going to be two SD40-2 and two SD38-2 if I remember correctly. Right, anyway, without any further ado, let's jump into the game window. As you can see, I'm as always in, in, um, uh, in journey selection menu. Uh, so let's continue our sand patch journey and let's get into this mission. Right, fully fueled. Uh, it's it's very 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 good mission uh, mission. I I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it same as I did. Okay, so we are start uh, starting at uh, at the train yard or rail yard in front of our uh, SD38 if I remember correctly right let's climb upstairs oh so those are GP38 um, my apologies must be attached to the rear climb aboard and move them to the classification yard where Q015 is waiting right yeah so we are going to connect this two locomotive these two locomotives uh, to to the actual uh, train. Uh, the thing is, we we need to configure all four locomotives in order for them to work. If we mess this up, then unfortunately we won't have enough power to get this train through those uh, through that route. Um, well, you will see yourself why it's going to be very very important. Anyway, uh, I've already entered uh, the most rear uh, locomotive, that will be the end of our train. And we need to set it up uh, for trailing uh, or to work uh, in, in tandem with, uh, with the other GP38. Uh, so let's turn on uh, number lights. Uh, they are uh, at the top of the cabin. Uh, if we leave it you can see those uh, those number indicators basically lit up right uh, so that's that's basically an optional thing 
uh, we need to set up headlight control that, uh, that's so that we can control it with unit coupled at long hood end there we go right uh, we don't have to sit down we need to turn off uh, engine run and turn off control and fuel pump right everything else should be set cutout valve is set to cut out uh, handle is off and mu 2 a valve is set to trail 6 or 26 yeah that's fine uh, we can also turn off the radio uh, because we won't need it right so that is sorted we can now leave this one and hen head on to to the next one right so this one is gonna be lead locomotive however at this moment of time we're gonna need to use it we can preset some of the things so now let's check the fuses radio is on which is something that I want uh, we can turn on those number boards and we can uh, do, do, do. we can either leave it on single unit or intermediate unit or yeah let's leave it as single unit or intermediate unit it's it doesn't really matter uh, at this point uh, especially for this locomotive right uh, the most important part is to check the radio it needs to be on uh, it's gonna be very important later right let's put reverser handle and before we start setting up this locomotive let's set up our route uh, because as you can see we are going to go on this track and connect to, to this consist uh, so this one is set this one is set this one is not set so let's set it correctly and this one should be set okay that's done so now uh, generator field needs to be on uh, because we want to operate this locomotive at least at, uh, for the time being front headlight can be set to to dim uh, rear headlight can be set to dim even though I haven't set it correctly let's put it like that so we will be controlling the actual rear locomotive okay we are back in our seat uh, reverser is going to forward uh, MU valve uh, for now lead or dead automatic brake needs to be released Let's sound the horn, let's unbrake and let's start moving. Uh, we can turn the bell off and now we need to connect this, uh, this tandem to, to the actual train which is 620 yards away. Uh, I will probably cut this part of the video because well there's nothing specific that is going to happen. No, we will just approach this consist so I'll be back with you when we do so all right so here we are approaching our uh, consist uh, I'm already slowing down uh, to connect to it as gently as possible obviously I'm not the best at it but I think yeah we got it okay right so now we need to set up this locomotive to to work as a lead locomotive for the rear uh, tandem that will be pushing this consist uh, there is another set of locomotives at the front of this uh, long train and we will set it when we finish with this one right so let's release independent brake we won't need it we can set reverser to neutral and take off the handle there we go we can turn off the lights we won't need them uh, make sure those three switches are on and because this locomotive is still going to work as a lead locomotive for this tandem as I mentioned before 
Right. So, the game is asking us to put this valve um, or automatic brake at full service, cutout valve at cutout, and MU2 valve on trail 6 or 26. <coughs> this is a little bit misleading and it won't work. So, instead we need to set MU2 valve to lead or dead, automatic brake to handle off and cutout valve to freight. We can also set automatic brake to to uh, to fall, but uh, handle off will will work perfectly fine. Uh, this locomotive will be trailing anyway. So that should be it. We can now leave our seat. We can uh, leave the headlight control uh, as it is. Let's double check the fuses. We need radio on on this locomotive. Right, it is on. So now. We can begin our trip to the front of this consist. As you can see, our driver's seat is 0.8 miles away. So I will use the magic of editing the video to teleport us a little bit closer because I'm going to be running there for a good two minutes. All right, so here we are. Uh, we just made it all the way along this consist. It it took me yeah it, it took me nearly two minutes. Right, let's climb up to the rear locomotive in uh, in the lead tandem. Let's close the door to to make things a little bit uh, well more silent, providing that that we are right next to main track right so on this one uh, the same we will turn on number lights we will turn on headlight control to controlling with unit coupled at long hood end we will open the fuse cabinet make sure the radio is off we don't need it okay and now let's check if this one is set up correctly and well as you can see it isn't um Engine run should be off, generator field should be off, and control and fuel pump should be off. We don't need them on this locomotive. Uh, everything will be controlled from uh, from the lead locomotive. Right, cutout valve is set to cut out. Um, right, automatic brake is uh, at handle off, and MU2A valve is trail 6 or 26. Right, so this one should be properly set up right now. Right, let's get into lead locomotive and let's prepare for departure. Uh, let's cross this bridge. There we go. Let's open the door, let's close it now. Okay, so as the lead locomotive, uh, we will also turn on the numbers. We will change this switch to controlling with units coupled at long hood end, uh, because that's where our units are. We will open the fuse box cabinet and we will turn on the radio, which we need. We can also turn on the warning devices, which will basically initiate uh, like a, a alerter button and uh, every now and then I will just have to press alerter uh, to to indicate that that I am basically watching the road uh, we can use that for immersion or we can not use that for our convenience so normally yes uh, for for full immersion I would be using warning devices but for this video uh, I'll be driving quite a long time on external camera and I don't want to basically be like constantly uh, oblig obliged to, to monitor warning devices so I won't be doing that right 
we can now sit in our driver's seat. Let's listen to this guy. No doubt it's packed with all the latest gadgets and gizmos. That extra traction you attached? Well, we've been asked to take it up to the summit for work in the area. There's a shortage of engineers today, or someone would have run them up independently. Right. So, I already turned on generator field. Now the game is prompting me to uh, put on reverser handle. Uh, which is something that we do. We will turn on front headlight to bright. As, as we are going to go ahead. We will turn on whatever the game wants us to do. Except the gauges. I really hate those uh, that backlit. Uh, right. Uh, we need to set cutoff valve to freight. Uh, MU2 valve to lead or dead. Because again we are leading locomotive of this tandem. We can now set our reverser to forward and release automatic brake. It will take some this time for it to release. As you can see, brake pipe is charging and it's going to take quite a long time for it to charge. Right. Q015, subject to signal indications, proceeding from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Out. Right. And last thing, in order for the rear tandem to work, we need to turn on banking communication. So, right now, all the locomotives should provide power to, mm, to this consist. Obviously, we are still waiting for... Uh, brake pipe pressure to to rise up uh, it needs to go up to 88 89 psi so it's gonna take a while before that happens let me just initiate independent brake uh, so that the train won't roll back uh, the brake pipe will still charge uh, it's it's only because it is slowly charging and releasing the brakes in in uh, all the wagons. Uh, I don't want the train to start rolling backwards. That would be really really troublesome. Right, it should take about two two to three minutes for for brake pipe to charge. Uh, so, well. All we can do right now is wait. In the meantime, as the brake pipe is charging, in fact, we can set our uh, junctions because some of those switches are not set. Right, this one is set, this one is set, uh, this one is set, this one is actually set. There should be another one along the line. Uh, I think, yeah, this one and this one needs to be set right all the rest of the switches are currently set right so the brake pipe is pretty much charged what I can do now is to release it uh, give it a little bit of juice to hold train in place as you can see it already started to roll back 
Let's sound the horn. Let's turn off the bell. And on notch 2, right now, this train should start moving. And it is. Obviously, I need to give it a little bit more juice. So, notch 3 uh, will be much faster. I will reduce it to, to notch 2 when, uh, when we get closer to, to our uh, track speed. And right now all four locomotives are providing power. That's why this consist can actually move so quickly. Uh, before that, uh, in my first run through, uh, I've been... I've been using notch 4 in order to actually move the train. So we got much more power right now as you can see. And that gives us much higher chances to actually beat this scenario. Uh, we don't need to worry about time. Because that train that, uh, that was passing us at the beginning of the mission. The one with, uh, with the tankers. It's gonna be ahead of us uh, throughout entire scenario. So we will be running yellows as well. Uh, which is not gonna make things easier. Especially when we will be uh, going along this uh, difficult route. Why is it so difficult you ask? Well, we will be climbing a mountain. And that's a very long and steep climb. Especially for 42 hundred tons uh, so definitely this uh, this train will be struggling a little bit uh, we will be using some sand to help us out but hopefully with the power of uh, of four locomotives that is actually right now applied to uh, to this consist we should be able to to go through it quite easily uh, as you can see from uh, from my UI, uh, in 1.9 mile, uh, I will have red light. I think it will change to green uh, in about 10 minutes. Uh, so we got plenty of time to, to actually approach it. And the train up ahead is not as fast as we are. Uh, so we will definitely catch up later on uh, throughout this uh, scenario uh, yeah that that is a really difficult uh, mission I, I'm not gonna I'm not going to lie um, with with this proper setup it should be much easier and and you will probably notice that uh, throughout some sections that I used to struggle uh, which you might see I might put some um, some bits from from that video at the end of this video uh, later on so you can have a little bit of comparison how I was doing with incorrectly uh, set up um, multiple unit and how I will be doing right now because this train has much more power right now we we are basically flying through through this section of track. Uh, previously, I, I was much slower, so I can already feel the difference. Anyway, uh, we are doing solid 13 miles per hour. Uh, the speed is actually still raising, which is good. And we should be all right. Right, let's drop it to notch one. Let's double check if uh, if rear locomotives are uh, working. Yeah, the consist is so long. That the game needs to show loading screen. Right, let's drop the speed. All of them are 
providing power. Let's jump back to the cabin. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, uh, this consist is so long that in order to jump between two uh, tandems of locomotives, the game will have to show loading screen, unless I will just run there. Um, so this is the scale of, uh, of the job that we are doing today. Uh, right, I'm getting closer and closer to, to my destination. Let's drop it to notch one. We should have enough power to, to hold that speed. And all we have to do is to approach this red signal. When we stop there, uh, I will probably make another cut. Uh, so you guys won't have to watch red light for like 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, because that's how long we will be waiting. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, right, I, I almost forgot what to say because like... Everything what I wanted to say, I said it uh, during first recording and, and I, I ran out of ideas, to be honest. Um, I was basically praising how good this mission is, uh, because I'm really having a blast with, with this one. Um, that's one of the missions that Dovetail did perfectly fine. Uh, this is actually the, the type of mission that I would like to see more often. Uh, a difficult route, uh, a route that is very demanding, uh, a route that is very technical, and obviously a route that will have absolutely amazing scenery. And you will see it for yourself. I will be driving for a bit uh, using external camera so, so that you can see for yourself how nicely done this uh, this route is uh, and how nicely uh, the scenery looks like especially when when you are going through it with uh, with this monstrosity uh, so uh, that's that's gonna be more of a um, like a touristical trip instead of like a job trip I would say uh, I will be well I will be doing some commentary during uh, during this scenario however uh, there will be a lot of silent sections when I will be just focusing on uh, on the job right we are approaching the whistle sign so uh, it would be probably appropriate for me to sound a horn and, and there is a crossing up ahead. Let's turn off the bell. I will try to sound a horn and follow the signs as much as I can. Uh, obviously there is a high risk that I will miss some of the signs uh, because we will be using external camera to, uh, to just have a look at the scenery, uh, have a look at, at the consist, have a look at what's going on around us. Right, we still got about 800 yards to go. Um, in fact, we won't be waiting for too long on that red light because uh, we've spent most of that time setting up our consist. And I've spent a lot of time waiting for my brakes to, to actually release and, and all that stuff. Uh, so basically, yeah, we, we managed to, to use that time well. Right, that's the crossing, and, and shortly after we should see uh, that signal. There should be a bridge up ahead, and I think underneath there is that pesky red signal. We don't have to rush too much, uh, because obviously uh, we will be stopped there for, for about a minute or two. It won't be as long as... Uh, as it used to be um, during my first recording because back then uh, I didn't spend that much time uh, setting up all the locomotives I thought that the game is guiding me through proper settings unfortunately that wasn't the case and well as I mentioned that in previous videos Dovetail did a 
terrible job in terms of uh, guiding people through the missions. And I can guarantee you, you would struggle a lot to actually finish this mission with the settings that the game wants you to uh, apply. Uh, basically, the top speed you could reach at some sections of the track was 10 miles per hour, and, and that was with sand on. Without sand, you wouldn't be able to even move. Uh, so that's that's how bad those settings were. Uh, I was really struggling to to get this train to to actually move, which is not the case right now. Uh, we are proceeding pretty uh, uh, pretty well. Uh, the train is not struggling that much. We got half percent incline, or we are climbing at, at uh, half percent. Uh, so, obviously, uh, the train is slowing down on notch two, and and it's struggling on notch three. Uh, we don't need that, however, because we still got like two or three minutes of wait anyway. Right, let's apply some brake. As long as we can see that signal, everything is fine. And I'll be back with you when the signal has changed. Alright, so the signal has changed. So what we can do now is apply one notch of throttle. Release our independent brake to prevent roll back we are anyway rolling back so notch two and now we will be rolling to the front let's sound the horn let's turn the bell off and off we go let's let the train to to roll a little bit let's increase the throttle there we go okay we are moving everything is working perfectly fine now we will get onto a main line and hopefully uh, then we will be able to speed up a little bit more uh, because 15 miles per hour speed limit is definitely not enough okay first switch It will take some time before we will be able to speed up to uh, to 20 or 25 miles per hour, uh, mostly because rear of our train is one mile behind us or nearly a mile behind us. Uh, so we will have to uh, wait for it to, to pass the signs or speed limit markers. Right, let's drop it to notch 2, so we can just hold our speed. There is another whistle sign. And let's wait a bit. The speed is raising a little bit. Let's drop it to notch 1. Let's turn the bell off. the speed is still raising I do hope that we will enter Ooh, no that's another whistle sign right let's turn the bell off okay the speed stopped raising well nearly 
we might need to apply some brakes. Hopefully not. We are now climbing. Okay, the speed should be perfect. For now. At least for now. Please don't jump to 16. <laughs> that would be a little bit of a fail. And I don't want to reduce my score. Okay, the speed started to, to drop. Which is good, we can hold it like that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, so all we have to do now is wait. Yeah, the speed is dropping very slowly. Good, good. That's perfect. We are proceeding at a at perfect speed and the speed limit should raise in, in just a minute uh, because rear of our train should already be passing first uh, speed limit sign. There we go. We can now increase the throttle to notch 2. Ooh, I think that might not be enough power. Notch 3, perhaps. Yeah, that sounds good. That is really, really good. Okay. And now we are on 25 miles per hour uh, section. So notch 4 it is and we can go into external camera as you can see ooh, that looks really nice let's see oh that's a nice camera just look at this wow That looks amazing, isn't it? Those are kind of views that we might see on our route. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we are so slowly speeding up. We don't need to rush, uh, because there is a train up ahead, and I don't want to uh, be stopped at uh, at any of the signals, if, if I can. Obviously, at some point we will probably uh, get into, into a red signal. As you can see from my UI, uh, in front of us there is a yellow signal. Wow, it, it's like a never-ending story. It, it goes and goes and goes and goes. <laughs> That's a really long train and it's very heavy. So it will definitely be a challenge to, to go through those mountains. Right, let's jump back to the locomotive. I hope I haven't missed any whistle signs. If I did, well, my apologies. Oh, there is another train approaching. There we go, this one is with coal. Ooh, there is a little bit of a frame drop. Wow, that looks amazing. Right, let's drop the throttle to, 
to notch two. As we are approaching the speed limit. Okay, and we are now passing, I think it was 50 miles per hour speed limit, or 35, I think it was 35, uh, so in, in just a few minutes we will be able to speed up a little bit, I can give it a notch 3, uh, that's a bridge. Okay, that looks perfectly fine. Let me just grab a screenshot. There we go. I need to watch out on, on those screenshots, because if I get carried away too much, I might miss uh, some important information. And if I will make mistakes along this route, it will definitely hit me back really hard uh, as a good example if if we stop at the wrong moment we might not be able to to move again so that is very very difficult scenario i'm not going to lie there are still going to be challenges but with that extra power that i got on my hand right now I should be able to go through it. I think we missed a whistle sign. Yeah, that was a whistle sign. So there might be a crossing up ahead. I can increase throttle to notch 4. To give it some extra speed. There we go. Right, let's jump back to the cabin. Let's focus on the road for a bit. Uh, basically, we've seen that road uh, or this part of the route in, in the previous uh, scenario where I was uh, traveling towards Hindman because we will be passing right next to it. And then we will proceed further. And that's where the difficult road starts. Right now everything goes smooth and I hope it will stay that way and because this scenario will really be long. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's, we've already took 40 minutes and we just basically started, we are just gaining speed. So it's pretty much initial stage of this scenario. Oh, there we go. There is another whistle sign. Okay. That works really well. Alright, so first yellow light. And we will soon be able to speed up to 50 miles per hour. I'm already traveling at notch 6. And you can see that we are not gaining speed at all. Well, or at least not as fast as, as you might think. Uh, for notch 6 this is very sluggish and there are just two more notches. Oh, for some reason the power has dropped. I'm not sure what's uh, what happened there. Uh, this is some sort of a game bug. It will happen a few times along the track and uh, it will probably happen once uh, during our climb and that was a very difficult moment back then and as far as I remember that was the point where I failed previously. Obviously right now it's not the case, we should be perfectly fine. Anyway. We are proceeding at stable 28 miles per hour. I think, yeah, the speed is actually increasing, which is good. We don't need to rush. Again, 
uh, mostly because there is a train up ahead we are already far into 50 miles per hour um, speed limit zone however rear of our train is still not in that zone right that was another whistle sign uh, thankfully they are pretty like distinctive in in terms of how they look uh, because uh, for some reason textures of those are loading pretty much as you pass them uh, which is a little bit problematic sometimes for some signs it might definitely be a problem uh, because even if you see sign far ahead um, you can't basically make up what it is saying um, I think they've changed something in, in recent patch uh, definitely they improved uh, like uh, those graphical glitches and, and stuff but uh, for some reason uh, the textures are loading much slower than they used to or at least uh, that's, that's what I feel uh, perhaps it was some some of the graphic settings that I set and I forgot about it uh, but there is a high chance that recent patch made some changes to that as well uh, right okay we are finally in 50 miles per hour uh, limit zone so let's give it notch 8 and let's speed up as much as we can uh, we are obviously climbing a little bit uh, right now it's a pretty even section of the track uh, but as we will be approaching this uh, signal uh, we should enter uh, like a small incline if I remember correctly oh we are actually descending that's good, that's good. We are going to pick up some speed. No, we are now climbing. There we go. Um, I do hope that we will make it to, to actually reach 50 miles per hour this time. Uh, previously, 45 miles per hour was the top I could actually get. Right, we got green light up ahead which means that the train ahead is actually progressing really fast that's very good information for us uh, it won't last long though uh, I think the next signal will be yellow alright we are doing 46 miles per hour and the train is still speeding up that is a massive improvement I can feel that extra power and it is very needed it is definitely very very needed right let's drop the throttle so that we can hold more or less stable speed oh notch 5 is increasing our speed I need to watch out now because we are able to travel at, at 50 miles per hour uh, as opposite to previous uh, walk through or well previous attempt where I wasn't able to, to even go close to 50 miles per hour uh, right now yeah this train has definitely more than enough power to to reach that speed okay so we are now progressing at at really fast pace uh, 1.7 miles to yellow signal just as I predicted oh just look at this this fast section of the track is really really nice let me try this camera ooh it was actually placed really nicely there we go I 
I'm not sure, probably the train will pass some uh, crossing, but well, let's observe, let's enjoy the view. Even at that speed, it takes quite a while for this train to pass a section. Just, just look at this. It's going and going and going and going and going and going. It's like a never-ending story. Wow. And there we go. That's our rear locomotives. And they are giving full power. Perfect. Right. With loading screen. Oh, there we go. Just on time to hit the horn. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, we managed to, to actually sound a horn before uh, this crossing. And there is another whistle sign. Yes, it is. Let's turn the bell off. Unfortunately, we are approaching yellow light, which means that the next one might be red. So I need to be ready to stop because stopping this thing will take some time. Oh my goodness me, it will. And what's the next signal? Yellow. Okay, that's, that's good. Uh, which That means that uh, the train ahead reached uh, the next section. Uh, the thing is, it never passed this section yet. And I feel that we might have to wait at the red signal for a while. If that will happen, then obviously I will cut the video uh, so that uh, you don't have to watch stationary train looking at the signal. Uh, but... Uh, I will try to eventually avoid such, well, such need. I might eventually slow down a bit and, and, and proceed at slower speed, uh, but I think we, we managed to catch up uh, to, to that train ahead and we will have to stop at, at the signal anyway. Okay, the train is slowing down on its own because we are climbing a little bit and, and the cargo is actually pulling us back uh, but notch 5 should be should be good uh, so let's carry on on, on this one uh, for now I will stay inside the cabin because there is no need for me to, to actually do anything all I have to do is to enjoy the ride same as you do uh, right uh, let me grab a sip of my coffee Oh, that's good. Right. Uh, I probably didn't said that, but um, those previous attempts obviously uh, pulled me back on my mm, recording schedule. So right now I'm after my last night shift this week. It's Thursday morning, 10 o'clock. Uh, it's pretty much yeah, 12 past 10 at the moment. And I haven't slept since yesterday. Uh, I'm basically 22 hours on my feet. Uh, I'm still fully awake, uh, but yeah, the coffee is keeping me like that. And basically I need to be awake uh, during the day tomorrow anyway, so I might as well use this day uh, to, to record, uh, to keep myself uh, occupied and busy. Because as long as I will keep myself occupied and busy, uh, then I probably won't fall asleep. Uh, if I'll get bored, uh, that's when the problems will start and I need to survive until like evening. Uh, I mean like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. To, to eventually go to bed at more appropriate time for a human being. Uh, because for a change I need to operate during the daytime uh, tomorrow. Uh, so I am having a challenging day up ahead and on top of that I might catch up on my uh, recording schedule because uh, today uh, also a voting ends on on my discord whoever joined 
and whoever voted, uh, then, well, that's, uh, that's when, when I'm uh, concluding a vote. Uh, it's usually uh, on Thursdays every two weeks. So at the moment when you are watching the video, there is another vote uh, going on. Uh, if you want to join my Discord, then uh, you can vote for next scenario for my Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought series, which is featured every Monday. Uh, I will probably be also working uh, on uh, on a script for uh, Train Driver 2. Um, I'm, I'm preparing uh, a guide for, for this game. And obviously I need to write it in a script because the previous guide that I made was unscripted and it was super chaotic. I, it's not the format I would like to present to, to people. And I want it to be clear, understandable and eventually well organized. Uh, that's why the next video will be scripted. I'm not sure when, when it will air. So whoever is waiting for next train driver to uh, video it will come, it will be a guide, uh, it will be quite long video because there is a lot of information to pass. Uh, so we are looking at about an hour, hour and a half long video again. Uh, but yeah, when it's done, it will be released probably on one of the Sundays. So observe my channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that bell. Uh, if you don't like YouTube's uh, notifications, join my Discord server. There is a channel where every single of my videos is being posted. Uh, there are also uh, videos from other creators uh, that, that are being posted there. Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, and you can turn on the notifications for that channel instead and observe all of us uh, at the same time. Whenever something new is posted, Discord will notify you and, and tell you something new has been posted. Uh, so I got a bot set up for, for that uh, because obviously I, I can't follow everyone at, at the same time. I do follow those people um, in, in terms of like subscribe to them or if it's a Twitch streamer I, I did hit that follow button. Some of them also have my subscription or actually I'm subscribing to, to some of them. So definitely uh, it's worth watching all those people that will pop up on a notification channel on my Discord. There is quite a few of them. Uh, to name it, uh, there is Alex Fly UK. Uh, he's like an all-round streamer. Uh, he's streaming various different games. Um, starting from like Fall Guys, uh, going to, through all those uh, fancy fun games with fast rounds, uh, going to some story-driven games. Uh, I think he did, I can't remember the name of this game. Uh, I'm terrible on, on those story-driven games, but uh, yeah, there is quite a few games that, that he showed on, on his Twitch uh, channel as well. So you might hop in and and have a look at it right we are approaching this red signal uh, so I need to engage automatic brake and as you can see my train is not slowing down oh shoot right uh, I do hope that I will make it to stop before that signal okay let's release it for now Let's put it into full service and let's just bring the train into a stop. And as you can see, I've already entered a heavy incline zone. Can I stop before that crossing? Probably not. Oh well. Yeah, so we have to wait. Right, coming back to what I was saying, let me just... Uh, Put independent brake on and release automatic brake so that the train won't roll back but the brake pipe will charge for the time when when we have to start right 
Uh, going back, uh, there's quite a few other streamers and, and YouTube channels that I really liked. And eventually I plugged in a bot to them to, to monitor those as well. Uh, so it's all on the same channel. My videos are mixed in this. I might set up a separate channel for my videos if, if people want that. Uh, but for now it, it wasn't a problem. So there is definitely some interesting stuff happening on my Discord. And obviously people from time to time chat about various different games. Uh, so far there is just a few users so uh, conversations are um, like blowing up from time to time and then they they die up uh, naturally but yeah hopefully some more people will join and the conversations will be much more frequent okay anyway uh, we have to wait for this signal to change and i won't be boring you with with any sort of uh, conversation for now uh, I'll cut the video now uh, at this point and well I'll see you back when the signal changes. All right, so we are back. Um, as you can see, the signal has changed. So let me put notch two on my throttle. Let's release independent brake. Let's sound horn twice. Let's turn the bell off. And now we need to start moving. As you can see, the train is not moving anymore. Uh, notch three might not be enough as well because we are on on the incline. Oh, okay. Notch three should be enough. It is a very slow speed and we are running at a risk of uh, wheel slip. And that is gonna be the challenge of the rest of the route uh, because this incline is gonna increase only <laughs> there's gonna be maybe one or two sections of the tracks where we won't be climbing at uh, at more than uh, one percent uh, so it's definitely gonna be challenging right notch four hopefully we can pick up some speed before the incline will change and before rest of the train will enter that incline as you can see it's it's really challenging already but if we can make it uh, we should be all right without sand and that's what i'm hoping for okay all right notch six Okay, it seems to be working fine now. Uh, I can definitely reach higher speeds, which is good. Not seven. Ooh, we are going to travel at notch eight, that's for sure. Okay, whistle sign. And notch eight, there we go. That's the maximum power this train can pull. And as you can see, yeah, the, the speed is not increasing that much as, as it would normally do. We are doing just 17 miles per hour and it's gonna go even worse. Probably we won't fall lower uh, because the speed is still increasing, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, on my previous walkthrough, 10 miles per hour on full sand was the maximum I could do. So you can see the difference uh, between properly set train and improperly set train. This one is set properly, so I got that power that I need to, to go through this climb. And as you can see, the incline again increased to 1.5%. And it's gonna get worse and worse and worse and the worst part is 
that the next signal, as you can see, is red. Yes, because train up ahead is traveling at the settings that developers uh, designed. And obviously their settings will allow this train to travel at 10 miles per hour. So we are twice faster. Uh, so pretty much every single signal will be red for us. That's gonna be difficult, but well, and that's all we can do. It is not that bad right now, but it's gonna get worse. Hopefully we won't start speeding. I need to observe my speed, because if the incline will drop, my speed will obviously increase. Uh, so I need to uh, drop the throttle at the right time. Uh, because if we start speeding up too fast, we will exceed the speed limit. And that's not what I want. I want that gold medal for this mission. I, I truly believe that I deserve it. <laughs> right. Let's switch to external camera and let's have a look at the scenery. Oh, just look at that. Just look at that. That deserves a screenshot. I gotta say, it's gonna be really difficult to not get too carried away and not miss a signal. And if I will miss a signal, oh my goodness me. This will be tough. I, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it's a whistle sign on both sides, but it was just a mile marker or distance marker. Wow, just look at this. There we go. That's our train. You can see it in the distance. There we go, we got another screenshot. Wow. I have to admit, with that extra power, it's really, really easy to, to travel along this route. Well, it is a little bit easier because, again, we are trailing another train. And if it won't uh, make it to, to reach the next signal before we reach this one, we will have to stop. And stopping at 1.5% incline is very risky. Uh, this is going to be the most difficult part of this scenario. Like bringing the train back to, to move. But other than that, if we can proceed at 21 miles per hour, we should be perfectly fine. Right, let's take another screenshot. Let's jump back into the cabin because I need to see what's up ahead. If I see that signal, I will have to slow down. Thankfully, slowing down shouldn't be that difficult. Because again, the whole train is trying to push us or pull us the opposite way that we are traveling. So, it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, at least to... Uh, to stop. Okay, I, I can barely see what's behind that bend or curve. And I believe the signal will just pop up in front of me. Yeah, this is a very long curve. Ooh, that limited vision is really, really disturbing. 980 yards. It's still red. Well, at least UI is telling me ahead that it's gonna be red. Uh, so, at least I won't see it in the last moment. Uh, but yeah, definitely the train up ahead won't make it. So I will have to bring the train to, to a move while being at 1.5 
25% incline. Right, 580 yards. I will be very lucky if that signal will change in the last moment. But yeah, I can't see it. It's not going to happen, isn't it? Oh, there we go, it changed. Okay, the train up ahead managed to reach another signal. So we can proceed. That is very good. But again, the next signal will be red. Another thing that I need to observe is my uh, amp meter. Uh, if it starts to climb too high, uh, that we will run into a risk of uh, of a wheel slip, and and that's not something we want. If the wheels start to to slip, it will be very very uh, difficult. Right, 2.2 miles. Uh, we should be alright with the signals. We should be. Nothing is set in stone. Hopefully we gave the train ahead uh, enough headroom so that it can reach uh, consecutive signals as we approach them. But anything can change. Right, let's jump into this camera. Oh my goodness me, this is a nice screenshot. There we go. Oh, just look at this curve. You know what I want to see. Yes. There we go. There shouldn't be much uh, road crossings uh, because obviously we are in the middle of the mountains. So we can have a look at the beauty of our train. Just look at it. Oh my goodness me. This is absolutely amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Right, let's jump back to, to our train. Oh, just look at this. Just look at this. This is amazing. And we are traveling at stable speed, 21 miles per hour. That is exactly what I want. Obviously the speed limit is 25, but now there's no chance I'm gonna reach that. Not at this point, at least. Oh, that is a perfect spot for a screenshot. There we go. Okay, incline increased to 1.6%. It is going to help us with, with our speed. As you can see, it's it's very, very difficult route. Uh, imagine if we would have to stop at that next signal. Uh, that is definitely something that I don't want. But I might be too fast in some sections. And then obviously we will catch up with the train ahead. Uh, and that might be problematic. Yeah, it definitely will be problematic. Wow. But it's a really, really nice place to be. I'm actually wondering how much does a uh, train engineer uh, make uh, in the in US, especially train engineers that, that actually run on on those specific trains or similar trucks they must be earning a ton for that I, I'm telling you that it it really requires a lot of skill 
from a train driver to uh, to be able to to sort out uh, this kind of route um, it definitely requires a lot of skill to eventually stop at a signal with 4200 tons and bring the train back to to the move oh there we go there is another train going in opposite direction uh, there was a little bit of a frame drop and we are getting closer and closer uh, to to the next signal right let me just grab a screenshot uh, because that is a nice one right let's jump back to our cabin oh this that's much better it's not as loud as it used to be isn't it uh, right 850 yards is that signal going to change or are we going to stop at it that's the question that is the very important question do we have to stop at this signal so far it doesn't look good oh no it isn't 600 yards and it's still red well obviously officially our driver shouldn't know about that but we will soon find out oh we can now see the signal and it's still red 450 yards and so I guess this will be the appropriate time to drop my throttle let the train coast and slow down naturally yeah perhaps I won't need brakes there is a chance no I think I'm gonna need brakes we got too much momentum we are slowing down pretty fast right yeah even on full service it took a while to stop right there we go let's bring independent brake into full service and let's try to release automatic brake hopefully the train won't roll back I hope it won't happen and now the difficult part starts because obviously we have to st we had to stop and uh, as you probably noticed it's pretty rough incline 1.5 percent is definitely not something that that we want uh, i wonder how long we will be waiting on that signal again i might make uh, make a cut uh, but if the signal will change pretty much somewhere right now then probably it won't happen anyway i'll be back with you when the signal changes and let's see if we can move this train ahead all right so we are back the signal has just changed I'm really tempted to give it a little bit of a headroom but it will take us some time before we will be able to to actually move I had to re-engage the train brake because the weight of the train was pulling me back and that's why I'm a little bit further away from the signal because I started to roll back even though uh, independent brake was fully applied that's how heavy this consist is so the plan is I will introduce notch 3 and release the brakes I will also introduce full sand and we need to wait for the brake pipe 
to actually charge. It should hold us in place. Okay, the brake pipe is basically released. And as you can see, it's not enough power. We are not moving forward, but we are not rolling back. So notch 4 it is. And now we manage to move. Okay, let's let it gain some speed. I don't want to turn sand off just yet. Let's give it a little bit more because otherwise we will start wheel slip. All the locomotives are working really hard right now. Oh, I should sound the horn before moving, but well, I was too focused on talking. There we go, we are rolling. Perhaps I can, yeah, I can remove the sand. I can increase it to notch 5 and gradually increase my speed. Not six, perhaps. Ooh, that's very close to 1,000 amps. I don't want to go above that. Okay, let's give it notch seven. Again, heavy increase. But no wheel slip. We managed to bring this train to a move, which is very good. Right, let's wait for amps to drop below 850 perhaps, and then we can apply notch 8. I don't want to go above 1000 amps uh, just right away. And notch 8, okay. And now we are giving it maximum power. It can't go any higher. It will probably speed up to, to like 20 miles per hour. Next signal, uh, as predicted, uh, is red. Two and a half miles away. Uh, but uh, because we've been stopped for a little bit longer than, uh, than I expected, because obviously... I waited a couple of seconds and we had to wait for brake pipes to, to charge. Uh, we might be able to, to get away with that. Okay, it's looking good. There is a whistle sign. Let's turn the bell off. So there should be a crossing up ahead. We still got 10 miles to go. Well, uh, in fact, we, we got more than 10 miles because the tracks are not going straight into, uh, into the direction of, uh, of the station. We will go in that valley or as it's, we will follow that valley, in fact. So, uh, definitely we will travel much longer distance but we are doing much better right now than I was doing alone uh, when when I was playing before uh, I will probably put a clips uh, from it um, later on uh, when when we finish this scenario uh, not sure yet, but I might put some, some clips out of it to, to give you indication how bad uh, this train is set up when you just follow uh, the game uh, as it guides you to uh, or through setup. Uh, it, it does much worse than, than we are doing right now, I can tell you that.
Okay. So, I think we can play a little bit with camera. Ooh. No. Perhaps... Oh, that's a better camera. Oh, just look at this. Just look at this. It's beautiful. Right. Let's try and, and set camera in better position. Uh, wait. Um... Uh, can't see much. Nope. It's really tough to, to catch a good moment. Oh, perhaps... Here? No. Okay, we won't be able to play with the cameras... Uh, for as long as the train is inside the tunnel, unfortunately. Uh, that's the only moment where... I can't observe uh, the clocks because obviously I decided to play with not uh, not lit uh, clocks uh, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem uh, we are still traveling at stable 22 miles per hour uh, the incline will drop a little bit so I will have to play with the throttle uh, I managed to go past this section last time, but it was at crawling speed. It it took me much longer than than now. It was like time in game was like uh, twelve or ten past twelve, something like that. So I was definitely uh, much much slower back then. Right now, I'm, I'm just traveling at light speed. I'm telling you that. Right. Uh, I really need to watch out. Because we are approaching that speed limit. And I don't want to go above. Right. The train up ahead managed to clear the signal for us. Which is good. So I'll try to match my speed with, with a speed limit. And we should be perfectly fine. Okay, let's... Oh, I still can't jump to external camera. Uh, the train is still going through the tunnel. This is going to be uh, a bit faster section. Uh, but definitely not an easier section. Yeah, the speed is slightly increasing. That's good, that's good. Can we already... Yeah, we can already change the camera. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, a, a bad screenshot. Oh, and a good screenshot. Good. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Accidentally, I, I pressed 2 button again. Oh. Those signals are... Ooh. Imagine if I would be approaching red signal here. I would probably miss this one. I'm not gonna lie. If I wouldn't know that this signal is red... I wouldn't be able to see it. Unless I use external camera, obviously. So it's very good that... Uh, that this signal actually changed for us. And that I had uh, this... Um, a head signal indicator... Uh, on. On my UI. Otherwise, I, I would probably miss it. Right, we are entering 30 miles per hour section. Uh, obviously, the incline has dropped a little bit, but stay sharp. 
it's still gonna increase and it's gonna be far worse than it used to be however so far we are doing great we are doing absolutely fantastic and the train is progressing really well uh, we are basically flying through this section I can now change the camera and, and play with it Ooh, I, I missed that opportunity to take a nice screenshot there but perhaps uh, there we go that was the best I could do uh, sadly uh, that that point wasn't high enough yeah there's there's no good points in here to, to actually jump with the camera I guess Oh, that's a bad camera as well. That's really bad. <coughs> right, uh, that's another whistle sign, is it? Yes, it is. So let's sound the horn. let's carry on uh, as you can see the incline has dropped significantly it's now 0.7 uh, so I really need to be on a lookout for my speed I don't want to go past 25 miles per hour uh, I'm not sure if the speed limit will increase before I hit that speed probably not Okay, yeah, the speed is increasing. Notch 6 it is. Okay, on notch 6, the speed has dropped a little bit. Right. Let me grab a sip of my coffee. okay that's much better my throat uh, got really dry and it's not easy to to talk for such a long period of time okay we can increase the throttle to seven uh, it should be enough to to hold our speed i think that's another whistle sign yeah that's that's a short section where there are some crossings there we go oh incline has dropped again not six let's go back to it okay let's open the window right it's looking really really good oh wow did you see that car oh my goodness me oh my goodness me right let's close the window wow the guy was driving on two wheels literally okay uh, we got yellow signal up ahead uh, let's give it not seven because the incline is increasing again we got 7.3 miles to go hopefully there will be no failures hopefully so far it's going really really great right we are entering 25 miles per hour zone again there we go and there is another sign up ahead yellow signal that's really good let's drop the throttle again 
to not six so that we won't exceed the speed limit and that's how we need to control it thankfully we are climbing so i don't need to use uh brakes uh, but on on even road i would probably hit a brakes uh, from time to time to to keep my speed in check right back to not seven and that's how we will travel look at this that river is absolutely adorable uh, right back to notch six let's try to play with the camera uh, perhaps that would be better spot there we go wow i will have so many screenshots Thankfully I got large hard drive, otherwise I would be struggling for space. <laughs> because each of those screenshots is like 18 megabytes large. They are absolutely massive. Right, 7 miles to go. I'm on notch 6. It's it's pretty even section of the tracks. But let's stay on the lookout because it's gonna start increasing not long now oh yeah not long now Ooh. yeah the incline is already increasing That's good, that's good. Wow. This place is absolutely adorable. Oh, look at you. You are all so happy. Oh. Just show me that happy face once more. Yeah hello smile to the camera there we go screenshot taken that's really nice see even this guy is happy that was the face of a happy man right uh, incline has definitely increased we can hit it to notch seven however we are still traveling pretty much at the speed limit so I don't want to give it notch 8 just yet but the time will come that time will come uh, yeah okay notch 8 the speed is dropping so now we can give it full power Alright, 0.9 miles until next signal. Will it change? That's the question. Because this is a very slow section of a tracks. And I believe that the next train might not be fast enough. 0.7. Ooh. That doesn't look good. That is definitely not looking good. 0.6. And... Last thousand yards. Ooh, that doesn't look good. This definitely isn't looking good. 800 yards. Uh, 
Right, can we see that signal from far enough? Yeah, we can. It is very well visible. At 400 yards I will drop my speed and apply the brakes. Because that's all I can do. We might have to wait again. And this time, well, incline is pretty much the same as it used to be, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, let's idle this bad boy. Oh, okay, signal has changed. Let's reapply notch 8 and let's hit it. There we go, we can proceed, which is very good. Obviously the next signal will again be red. So we can expect that it will either change right in front of us or we will have to wait a little bit for, for it to change. It depends how the, well, uh, how the inclines will look up ahead uh, because Right now, we are entering parts of the tracks that I've never seen before. Uh, just behind the signal is as far as I managed to get. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that was the furthest I could get last time. I think I've been one mile closer to the target, but it doesn't change that much. Right, another whistle sign up ahead. Uh, let's be prepared. Let's sound the horn. And let's go for it. Two miles until next signal. 11.51. Uh, if I remember correctly, this scenario started at 10 o'clock. So we are almost two hours into, into this mission. It shouldn't last much longer. Uh, because with that speed, we are progressing fast enough to actually reach our destination in a timely manner. So I believe... We will finish this scenario within the next 20-25 minutes. Which is very good, because I'm getting a little bit tired. Obviously I'm not going to go to sleep, uh, I still need to, need to do quite a few things in the house. And obviously I need to prepare this video for rendering. Uh, which will be a little bit rushed, uh, which is not something I I actually like. Wait, was it just was it just a tree stump, or or was it was it actual sign that never happened to render? Um, I'm really confused now. Is there a crossing? Yes, there is. Okay, yeah, so, so that was a sign that never decided to render. Okay, okay. I almost thought I, I'm going crazy, but no, it's... It's just a rendering problem. Okay. We've gone past this junction. one point five percent solid we are doing 20 miles per hour but now we need to be on a lookout because I'm not sure what's up ahead apart from information that the game gives me
We are doing good though. We can travel at stable and solid speed. So we got enough headroom to eventually dash through any difficult section. As long as I won't mess up completely. For now, however, it is looking good. I don't have to use sand. But we are getting closer and closer to the next signal. And that makes me a bit worried. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Come on, game. Change that signal for me. So I won't have to... bring the train back to a move. Again. In like half a mile. Another signal. Wow, you can hear this locomotive struggle. That is absolutely amazing. Right. Wow, just look at this. 870 yards. Right, let's turn the bell off. 750 yards. Can I make it? Oh wow, the incline went up to 1.8. Oh my goodness me. If I will have to stop at this signal, it will be really tough to move. Is this just one short section of a truck? Yeah, I think it was just one small section of a truck. Wow. Wow. That is just wow. Right, let me just drop the speed. We can't travel that fast. Because we need to stop at this signal. 250 yards. Yeah, the speed is dropping on its own, so I don't need to apply any brakes. I'm still hoping that I can pick up the speed. No, probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm dropping below 10 miles per hour. And I will have to apply the brakes. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, just look how fast it's stopping. Even without brakes. Right. Let's put the brakes into full service so they engage before the train will start rolling back. It is still rolling back. Oh my goodness me. Right. Uh, so. I'll be back with you when the signal changes. Uh, there is no point in, in hanging around. We are just waiting for a signal to change. Okay, so the signal changed and we are ready to move. So let's get rolling, shall we? Right, let's put notch three and let's release the brakes. Let's put some sand on. We need throttle four at least. Ooh, this is gonna be a heavy move. The brakes are still releasing. That's why we are not moving. 
but I'm putting sand already. So when the train will start moving, and it's gonna happen soon. There we go. We are moving. Okay, okay. It went easier than I expected. But now I need to gain some speed. And I still need to keep sanding the track. At least for now on. Okay, okay, okay. It looks good. Sound is still on. Let's increase the speed. Notch 5. Okay, that, that looks good. Okay, that looks really, really good. It went much easier than I expected. That wouldn't be possible at all in the previous setting. Ooh, I accidentally hit speed increase twice. Okay, we can turn off the sand. Oh, I forgot to sound the horn, but well, thankfully there is no pedestrian traffic anywhere around. Unless there is some some sort of a hunter in the forest or, or whatever. And I doubt, I doubt not people would go anywhere near a uh, train line. Anyway, we are on notch 7. I think we can hit it to notch 8. And let's get this bad boy home. It should go relatively smooth from now on uh, just because we we started to roll just now so the train ahead will have enough time to to reach another signal hopefully it will change just before we hit it right let's have a look how this area looks like Oh, okay. From here I can see that the tracks are going around along this hill. Wow. That looks amazing. And if we look closely... Nah, that's not a station. I was hoping that this is a station. But it isn't. It sadly isn't a station. Oh well. But just look at this. The tracks are still climbing. And we are just 3.6 miles away from our goal. Oh, that's beautiful. We can see the rear locomotives. Wow! Is it? No, we can't. The game is actually cutting it. Oh, that is... That is really sad. Wow! But that is super long. No, we... I think we can see them. No, we can't. Wow! Okay, I did some photos, but the incline has increased. Wow, this track is absolutely impossible. Yeah, that's why this track is so unforgiving. Uh, you might say, okay, yeah, it, it's it's relatively easy. Yeah. It, it looks easy when I'm playing it with a proper train setting. But when you play it for the first time, when you will be playing it yourself, uh, if you mess up these settings, you won't be able to pull out uh, maximum power out of your locomotives. And that means that 
eventually you won't be able to hit uh, that speed you won't be able to maintain the speed along this route uh, if you encounter red signal as I did twice uh, while being on on that climb there is no chance you would be able to move this consist that's why proper settings are so important obviously you can always save it up yeah you got enough power at hand so all you need to do is to set it up correctly uh, but if you if you miss something if you miss just one bit that um, from from what I did then technically you probably won't be able to to finish this scenario that's how unforgiving it is and that's why I had to actually read through some forums and, and different places along the internet to, to actually find out how to finish this scenario what is that sound hmm. that's a really really weird sound it almost sounded like my cargo is about to fall off the, the wagons that that would be really bad I'm telling you that would be really terrible oh my goodness me that incline is absolutely impossible I think it goes all the way to that train yard that we are about to, to go right let's get back to the cabin uh, and let's enjoy the last 2.8 miles of this line. It was really challenging track, especially when when I was trying it myself. Um, it was basically impossible. Uh, with with properly set consist, it it's definitely much easier. Uh, but there are still challenges ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm basically traveling along undiscovered road for me. So I don't know what's behind the next curve. Well, apart from, from that signal that is 500 yards away. Uh, but yeah, mm, I really don't know what to expect behind this curve. I really don't know what to expect behind the next curve. Uh, and this, this track keeps surprising me all the times, which, which is good. That that is perfectly designed track. That is perfectly designed uh, scenario. Uh, so after all that salt that I dropped on Dovetail, I have to admit that this particular scenario is really nicely ported into into this game because it was also present in train sim world one and and that's the thing i i haven't played it uh, in train sim world one uh, so i i can't say how how good it was uh, back then but it's really really good i'm not going to lie it is really good scenario Oh, I think there is a train waiting to, to join the main line. Yes, there is. Right. 1.6 miles. We got another red signal. Uh, and that's going to be entry signal to the station. Right. Sorry for that noise. Uh, I accidentally bumped my microphone with, with my clumsy hand right uh, we are joining this track instead okay 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 that's interesting 
everything is set for us and hopefully all the junctions will be set. It would be really bad if if the game would now ask me to do some heavy switching that that would be inappropriate I'm, I'm telling you that uh, we we've just spent well over two hours traveling along the main line on a very demanding and challenging track even though as I said with proper setting everything is fine uh, but yeah um, I'm really glad that Dovetail included this scenario in Train Sim World 2. However, I'm really sad that they failed to provide a proper setting for for the train to actually be able to to go through this scenario. That again proves that Q&A is absolutely not working. These guys did absolutely nothing. Right, let me turn on the gauge lights because we are entering a very long tunnel and it would be nice to see what's on the clocks. And I have to admit, during the night this actually looks pretty good. Apart from from this black section in front of the train and, and this lit up section back there, I, I'm not sure. Uh, that might be my graphics card uh, that that is just not handling it very well or it might be some of my settings so well my apologies for that but the lights are definitely not working so well in this place uh, but well I, I guess some small sacrifices have to be made oh I, I need to watch out on my speed because the incline has dropped significantly and my speed started to rise Okay, notch 5. I can actually travel at notch 5. Which is good. That's a that's a nice change uh, from uh, from the previous one. Okay, I can go back to notch 8 and raise my speed a little bit more. Even though just behind that tunnel there's gonna be red signal waiting for us. Right, I'm gonna drop the speed to notch 4, in fact. It should keep us at 27 miles per hour for now. Uh, but right now we will have to use our actual brakes to stop the train. Uh, because the incline is not high enough. Oh, alright, we, we won't have to use any brakes because the signal changed to yellow. So we are clear to proceed and we got one mile to go. We are very close. We are extremely close to that station. Right, I can turn off the gauge lights because they are very annoying. And again, this is not well placed signal. Where are ahead signals where are eventually repeater signals like I wouldn't be able to to say what's on this signal up until the last moment where you just can't stop that is really problematic that should never happen in fact on a railway like if if you do such thing on the railway, it's it's like I don't know. You are trying to to derail your trains or or make them crash. Um, I'm not sure if uh, if in America um, people just don't have those ahead signals or or signs to indicate that this that the signal is right behind this hill and you should basically smash the brakes 300 yards or well 300 yards is too close but uh, like if the first ahead sign that that would actually tell you the signal is there if it would be at half a mile marker and then gradually decrease uh, to indicate how far away from the signal you are 
if it's not visible from appropriate distance that would definitely help a lot uh, because like this was really badly placed signal i i'm not gonna lie well it happens on the railway yeah Th there can be signals like that but there's usually some sort of ahead information especially if trains can travel at 30 miles per hour let's let's stop joking uh, so yeah uh, i think dovetail should look at this section of a track and put some sort of ahead signals if they are at all present in uh, in america uh, i i believe they they do use much more signals than we can find in this game right i need to use automatic brake to slow down this train is speeding up at notch zero and just look at this I am braking and the train is not slowing down oh my goodness me right I'm 800 yards away from from the stopping point I am slowing down 25 yeah I would like to slow down to 15 if I can Ooh. I might not be able to stop oh my goodness me Yikes, just look at this. I'm still doing 15 miles per hour. Wow. Hey, just stop. Oh my goodness me. And... Okay, we made it. Great effort. You've definitely got the hang of this. Head back, <sighs> unhook the rear locomotives, and park them up on the sidetrack. A CSX pickup should be there to meet you. I'll see you later. Okay. Right, so we can leave things as they are in, in this locomotive. This guy should handle it. And now, well, you guessed it. I got a long way to run. Right, I'll see you in about two minutes when I get to, uh, to my locomotives. I need to set them up for travel, unhook them and park them on a siding before I finish I think yeah I think I will have to park them next to that pickup truck right
Okay, there we go. Here we are uh, at our two locomotives. We need to unhook them. So let's unlock this coupler. Let's climb into the cabin. Let's open the door. Let's close it now. Right, so the locomotive is mostly set. All we have to do is to set automatic brake to off. So it actually charges the emergency reservoir. Let's set reverser to reverse. Uh, valve is set to lead or dead. And let's just reverse. Is this thing going to work? No, it isn't. I just need to blow the pressure off independent brake. Okay. Right, so we are now reversing our fateful GP38. That is good. I should have set the lights. Now I can't catch them. Let's set it to dim. And we can carry on reversing. Let's have a look how this looks like. So the front line front line is dim and this one is not lit. Let's see if turning on these ones will do something. Oh. No. It still doesn't work. It's a bit sad that turning off, uh, turning on or off uh, rear headlights doesn't actually do anything. Uh, but well. It is what it is. Uh, let's keep reversing. I can give it a little bit more of a speed. We still have 900 yards to go to uh, to that switch. Right, the light is set for us. That's good. Seven hundred fifty yards. Wow. Okay. Six hundred yards. Five hundred yards. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We are almost there. I feel a bit tired, uh, but well, mm, that's natural. I just spent over two hours effectively playing the same scenario. Right. Let's let's uh, let it coast. 250 yards to go. Hundred thirty yards to go. I can start slowing down. Oops, I went past. Yeah, uh, I I went way past. Let's have no fear. I can just release the brakes. Give it a notch of throttle. That that's the bad thing about this game. Like if you don't stop at the marker then then basically you are screwed. Right. I should be okay now. And now I need to stop at the right location again. Right, notch two. Two blasts of horn. And we are moving. 
We got green signal. We can proceed as we want. And we just need to go past... Well, go up until that point. If we manage to stop at the right spot, we are good. That's very, very good. Right, there's gonna be... 20 miles per hour speed limit so I might stop accelerating because this is going downhill so I'll be prepared to introduce some braking action okay the switch is set for me I'm I'm in 20 miles per hour zone I should enter 35 miles per hour zone soon Eight percent. Good, 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 good. We can hold stable speed. That is very good. Fifteen miles per hour. Ooh. Okay. We managed to break just just fast enough but we are going downhill so we need to be on a lookout our speed will keep increasing yeah 20% is too much 7% not enough 8% uh, just not enough 16% yeah 16 manages to drop the speed which is good 27 okay 27 seems to be breaking pretty fine okay there we go full application uh, reverse it to neutral that to full service okay let's switch off any active lights oh okay we need to switch off the locomotive okay that's all let's climb down the steps and that's the mission completed all we have to do is to get to that truck Final look at our GP38. There we go. Whew, and that's how it went. It, it took us 2 hours, 29 minutes and 12 seconds. So 2 and a half hours basically. We've driven 37.79 miles. We walked 1.6 miles in this scenario on its own so yeah uh, that was really really challenging mission uh, it was really fun it was really entertaining at least at least from from a player standpoint uh, but definitely there were some things that could be done better especially by dovetail so first of all uh, setting the locomotives um, the settings should match the most effective settings that player can introduce so the player can learn how to do it and the settings that that are given to the players by dovetail are absolutely terrible and useless you won't be able to to hit um, the speeds at all uh, it's going to be absolutely terrible with them uh Another thing is that uh, there is lack of comprehensive tutorial in the game. Again, um, those are things that players should learn during tutorial. How to set up locomotives for uh, multiple unit operations. How to properly set up the lights so they work. How to properly set up all those small things that players want to set up and they have to use it during the missions. Uh, so, again this is very problematic 
um, because Dovetail released a product that has old scenario and they didn't even fix the problems that were present even before. Because I believe if I would start Train Sim World 1, I would find the same exactly issue or same exact issues, um, which is pretty much my consist not set properly um, in proper settings that I'm being given uh, to, to actually work with and, and things like that. So while I appreciate that the community has a solution for it, um, developers, especially as big developers, shouldn't rely on the community itself. Uh, like those things should be handed to a player's in forms in form of some sort of a wiki that that is at least updated there should be a direct link to such wiki from in-game menu if if you don't want to um, build it into the game in form of like a comprehensive tutorial or or text file or any like in-game page like train sim world has that uh, train sim world 2 has that um you you basically post news from from your website or whatever there there is. Uh, you post news about the shop, but you can't give players a proper like training or mat training materials that they can work with and learn for themselves. Even if you don't want to like introduce comprehensive tutorial mission, it is better to give some sort of documentation that will actually put a light and give working solutions to the player. That's what's missing. Uh, other than that, the game is absolutely great, at least in terms of this scenario. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The scenery, the uh, everything, the challenge, that, that was absolutely amazing. I loved it. That was the kind of mission that I like to play. Uh, but yeah, there are a few things that that needs to improve, and sadly, I believe they they will never improve, because who would come back to to redesign the scenario or redesign the the whole map and put some fixes in in the places where they need to be, like for example, uh, head in a head information about the correct placement of the signal. Uh, because if the signals are on a curve or on a bend, they are not visible from long distance. That shouldn't be part of the challenge in the game. That should be properly marked by some sort of ahead signs or signals, uh, depending on what is actually used on American rail lines. But there should never be a signal that you can see from the distance of 200 yards on a 30 mile per hour speed limit. There is no chance you're going to stop four and a half thousand tons of steel or other rubbish in 200 yards. That's not going to happen. And, and that needs to improve because like that doesn't give players a chance to, to actually play this scenario um, in, in some sort of like a full simulation mode where you don't get any of that UI elements that I had. Um, that is a sad part uh, but other than that I wow I'm really positively impressed anyway this video is long enough without my talking so thank you very much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get informed about my new content hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below have a great day and see you all later Latter, out.